Hey, Steven Ostrowski with Trimble. Previously, we showed you how to use scan data to easily check formwork and aggregate. We then covered a bit on how to scan wet concrete to point out high or low spots when they're still green. Now I will show you how to create an ASTM E1155 report on the tablet in the field so you can immediately see if you hit spec. Know exactly where the lines were sampled from and have the data of the condition of the floor when scanned in perpetuity, especially within three days of pour. This test was completed at Local 404 during their super flat exercise. With three different teams competing, four sample lines were collected on each pad, with matching measurements between the dipstick and the X7 crowning Group 2 as the winner. Jumping into the tablet, we can see the scan data with the model. PDFs and 2D data can also be imported for reference. We'll then go to the Floor Analysis tab, where we can set the area to be analyzed. Here we've already set that and um, the floor has been extracted along with all the points within that scan, not just a preview. Many scans can be used for large um, pores. In this case, only one was needed, but you can cover an entire pore or just um, certain areas that you see here. Um, after most of the lines were already drawn, we can actually add our own or additional ones in just to show you how those were created. You can see even the chalk lines that were used so that we can compare the um, dipstick to the scanner to make sure everything matches between the two. Um, FieldLink will allow you to draw these lines. Um, they will make you, it will make you follow the XTM standards, uh, drawing 11 foot lines that are perpendicular to each other, um, but it, you can also draw them uh, horizontal and vertical as well. After creating those lines, we can see that they are also very flat. We can jump in and set our overall flatness um, average and levelness, as well as the minimum values for those. These would come from your spec and can be filled out here so that we can then create the report. Um, once the report is created, you will see all the uh, pads are actually super flat, um, but group two was the winner. Um, you can then lay out these lines or mark them as well or even sample different areas. With the X7's three second self-leveling accuracy, a dry rack is not even needed. Um, just setting up the scanner and hitting go, uh, getting those results back within minutes, the analysis even faster. The average overall FFFL was 66.69, comparing well to the 69.67 given by the dipstick in this analysis. We want to thank Local 404 in Cleveland for allowing us to come in and perform the analysis, as well as coming in the next week to do an ADA compliance check. Unfortunately, for this video, there is no drama because of the quality of their work. Um, but stay tuned for some larger project videos, and as always, go Browns!